know I'm about to go in Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back So they're really not with it Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay Peace on the right if you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to episode 7 of Madden Academy. If you guys are new to the series, what Madden Academy is... Basically, unfiltered live gameplay. I talk you guys through my adjustments, through my thought process, and try to make it as educational as possible so that you guys can maybe learn something, apply it to your own gameplay, and become the all-star Madden player that I know you are. Last Madden Academy, I tried to dive into a new defense that all of the pro players are running. If you watch any of the tournaments or the top-level gameplays, they're all running Big Nickel over G. A little bit different variations, but I was trying to get comfortable in that defense because I really believe it is probably the most versatile defense in the game right now. If you guys have been watching my streams, though, I did go back to Nickel 335 because that's what I'm more comfortable in. But we are trying to go back to Big Nickel over G. I'm trying to still get comfortable in it, figure out some of these blitzes and how it works. There is something very unique out of Big Nickel over G, and that is a user blitz that can be very overpowered. So we're going to be trying to focus on that once again focusing primarily on the defensive side of the ball now as always before we get into the class session we're gonna go over the best and worst comment of the day the best comment of the day goes to APS bond 34 who took his time to timestamp the entire part two of the ebook appreciate the good work soldier the worst comment of the day comes from shadow X who said I did a vid on this play years ago you're late my iform close scheme is original and probably the best out so you heard it here folks if you're subbed to my channel just go ahead and unsub because I fucking suck to give you guys some insight as to what I'm rocking with with my team, we've made a lot of upgrades, and the main one being Thick Boy Dante. Dante Culpepper, maybe my favorite Madden player of all time. He became a staple of my team in like Madden 18, and uh, right now he's going to be my quarterback for the coming months because I think he's by far the best quarterback in the game. Strong arm archetype. I'm going to show you guys his stats. Uh, strong arm archetype, so he gets Gunslinger for 1 AP. That's my favorite quarterback ability. Uh, 89 speed, 98 throw power, 90 throw accuracy short, 92 mid, and 91 deep, 90 under pressure, 95 throw on the run, 95 play action. Uh, this combination of speed, 89 speed with 98 throw power, and Gunslinger is phenomenal. And again, I couldn't ask for better. The only quarterback that might compare right now is Steve McNair because of Hot Route Master, but I still think Dante Culpepper is better. Then we got Reggie Bush, DK Metcalf, Terry McLaurin, Scary Terry. Kyle Juice checks Stephon Diggs, Darren Waller, and then a completely upgraded O-line. As for my abilities, we got like the best O-line, by the way. It's fucking insane. But as for my abilities, I got Edge Protector on Orlando Pace and Jonathan Ogden on my tackles. That's going to help with any, uh, any people with edge threat. I don't know if it helps with double or nothing, but it's only one AP, so it's pretty good to have. And then I got Post Up on my center. Post Up's going to let my center engage in double teams and become dominant. So... Overall, my O-line's pass protection is pretty good. Got 3 AP on the O-line. I got 2 AP on Darren Waller for tight end apprentice. Get the extra hot routes. 1 AP for Stephon Diggs, tight end apprentice. And then I got Identifier and Gunslinger on Dante Culpepper. Identifier, to me, is a very valuable ability. I love to see where the user is. Makes me feel like I'm almost getting an insight as to what they're calling on defense. And then Reggie Bush with Backfield Master. I still believe Backfield Master is the best 1 AP ability in the game. So, overall, those are my 10 AP. I got a 25 of 25, 25 out of 39ers, 25 out of 30 Raiders. So I get a plus one speed boost for either of those teams. 40 of 40 Brawler, which gives me plus two speed. And then I got 50 of 50 Lockdown, 50 of 50 Play Fake. So overall, my chemistries are looking amazing as well. Moving to the defensive side of the ball, this is where things get a little interesting because my linebackers don't see the field. So any of the linebackers on my team, other than Ricky Jackson and Khalil Mack, who play on the D-line, aren't seeing the field. Ronnie Lott at free safety. Brand new card, Ronnie Lott in the game right now. Looking at his stats, this is probably the best safety in the game. Attributes, he got 94 speed, 97 zone coverage, 91 man coverage. And then his hit power is insane too, 93. So overall, the speed, coverage, and power ability, he's very well-rounded, very versatile, 96 overall. So, Ronnie Lott is just out of the team. I haven't even played a game with him yet. We got Taylor Mays, Tracy Porter, DRC, Deion Sanders, Jamal Adams, and uh, Aaron Donald is going to be playing D-Tackle. Now, something else I want to show you guys. There are some players that see the field that I could not fit into my lineup. Adrian Amos is one of them. Adrian Amos is a very good player. I currently have mid-zone KO and flat-zone KO on him. I think I'm going to take one of those off and replace it, maybe with an Acrobat. And uh, on defense, we also got Derwin James and Troy P. So we got a lot of safeties. I got like six 
all-star safeties. That's because my safeties are always going in for my uh, linebackers. So any formation, uh, I, I'm not going to use all six. I got to figure out where I'm going to put them in big nickel. But uh, overall, my abilities, I just took off the pass rush abilities. So I don't have any pass rush abilities. And then I'm going to be putting acrobats all over the field. I think acrobat right now is one of the better abilities in the game. Also going to be putting flat zone KO on my flat zone safeties. So that is what the team is looking like. Hope this kind of gives you guys some insight as to how I'm running this. And then when I go into the actual game, I'll show you who I'm putting where, why I'm putting them in that position, and uh, it's going to be good. So everybody sit the fuck down. Take out a pen and paper. Put away your phone. Don't talk to your neighbor. I don't want to deal with any interruptions, okay? Because class is in session. Okay, man. I think that's his top three. Michael Vick, so we got to watch a scrambling quarterback. Probably going to be putting out QB spies every time. And there's my top three. Ronnie Lott, 96 overall. So like I said, we're going to be trying to stay in big nickel over G. Slot cornerback package. And I'm going to make a million freaking adjustments. The first one, I want Ronnie Lott. He's in the right spot. Then we're going to want uh, Amos right there. We're going to want Jamal Adams right there. And then in the middle, we're going to want Taylor Mays and Troy P. So actually, the big nickel over G is good. We didn't get to set our zone drops the way we wanted. But... Um, but we got all the substitutions first try, so that's pretty good. And then if you stand right here, sometimes you can shoot this gap. Uh, I haven't completely figured it out yet, but stretch has been kind of nerfed. So uh, stretch isn't as big of a deal in, in the first place as it was before. So shooting the gap's not as important. But uh, for flats, I like to set my flats at 20, curl flats at 5. And then this guy's an I form close. So I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of thinking this guy is... Uh, yeah, there we go. I kind of shot the gap there if you guys didn't see. Uh, I, I'm thinking this guy's going to be toting the ball. He's coming out first play under center run, second play under center run. Thankfully, Big Nickel over G is a really good run-stopping formation as it is. And now, here comes out in the gun tray Y flex. And what we're going to do here is, if you can see, that's what our defense is looking like. And uh, we're only rushing two. And that way, we can get a QB spy and we can double flat the other side. And overall, looks like, yeah, we got him in a bag here. There's nothing that should be open if, unless he throws something late. Okay, that was that could have... He caught it! What? Okay. I was about to say, that could have been bad if it was a good throw. But somehow, he came down with that. I don't really know how. Claypool cheating the hell out of me. Not, not good. That's not good. We're gonna, we're gonna, I think, I'm expect, expecting him to run the ball here again. Yeah, he did run the ball again. Uh, he's, he's still running, he's gonna be running stretch every time. He's going to be running stretch every time, so I'm just kind of ready for that. Uh, I'm going to hover in that gap, try to shoot it as much as possible. All right, here. I'm going to run the same D as I did before this time. That's what we look like. That looks really good to me. I really like the way this looks. I really like the way this looks. We got double flat on that side, and he ran, ran the ball. See, that's the worst feeling when you have the perfect defense set up, and then he runs the ball. Third and five here. We're going to run the same look. There we go. Oh, I, I didn't get to show you guys, but we got the same look set up. Somehow this guy's just getting these, <laughs> these passes off, but he ends up losing yards. Going to be fourth and seven. Expect him to take three here. Yeah, he got lucky with the three. Should have been a turnover on that first one because uh, of that long throw on third down. But we are going to try to block the kick. Didn't get it. Takes three. I got cheated out of three points, but... If that first drive is an indicator of how the rest of the game is going to go, I think we got this one in the bag. All right, now for the defensive side of the ball. This guy's in a three-down lineman set. Running the ball, I think, is going to be pretty easy, at least for the first two times. And I think I got him in a bag. I got him in a bag. So what that makes that what that tells me is that I need to play conservatively on offense. Because if I give him easy points from my offensive side of the ball, like throwing pick sixes, throwing interceptions already in field goal range, stuff like that, uh, I don't want to give him any free points because I think I can lock him down. Uh, and so as long as I don't do anything stupid on offense, I think we got this one. And get a first, please. Please first, please first. Third and inches. He's been running man coverage every time, so I'm kind of expecting more of that. And we get a deep into McLaurin. That was kind of a risky throw. I was worried his user might get there. Uh, but he's been running. He ran man coverage the first two times. Ran a cover three that time. This guy seems like he hasn't been keeping up to date with the patches because he was just trying to run a disengage that was popular like a month or two ago. So, he, I don't know if he knows that some of this stuff's been patched, but <laughs> I'm expecting this to be man coverage. And to be honest, I'm putting Diggs on a streak and I fully expect him to get open. I expect Diggs to be open and beat his man. Let's see if he does. Yeah, it's... Oh, he, oh I threw the wrong pass. Diggs. Oh my god, he still beat it. 
I meant to throw the in route, but I pressed, I, I accidentally threw it to Diggs. Thankfully, he did beat his man, but barely. That was a little too close for comfort. When I say I want to play conservative, that's not what I mean. I did not mean to do that. Thankfully, it worked out for me. I got lucky. All right, so he's back under center. Again, I'm fully expecting a run here. I'm going to try to shoot the gap as best I can, and it is a pass, actually. Okay. 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 There we go. Good D. That was good D. Uh, I'm going to be sending Heat off the edges. It's the same look I've been giving him, except this time we're sending a little bit of a blitz. He ran the ball, so it doesn't really matter. But that's the reason I'm trying to stay in big nickel over G is because you can give them the same look every time, and then half the time send a blitz, half the time put everybody in coverage. And so overall, I think that ability is something that I was kind of lacking in my other... And I'm actually going to user blitz here. I'm going to try to get that user blitz that I was talking about. We're going to try to get that in there. I don't know if it's going to work. Didn't work, but we got the blitz off the edge. Blitz coming in off the edge. He tries to throw it a little bit too late. And I was, I was sending six rushers, one of them being my user. He blocked five. So even though my user blitz got picked up, we still had the edge rusher coming in. Then I disengaged with my user, and that let the pressure come in off the edge as well as getting an extra guy in coverage. So that's a good example of using your user, and we're actually going to... This is going to be beautiful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send another blitz at him. Send in another blitz at him. How did he pick that up? Good read by him. I didn't expect him to block that many people. I probably I probably was a little too aggressive there. I blitzed seven. Uh, it looked like everybody got picked up, though, and I'm not sure how. Oh, I only blitzed six. I thought I... Oh, I just looked at the replay. One of the guys I thought I was blitzing, I did not actually blitz. So that was my bad. And he gets in on the stretch. Damn it, dude. Well, that was a, a bad turn of events. On fourth down, I messed up my adjustments. I thought I sent an extra blitzer, but I really didn't. And that was my fault, and I got to live with that. So, uh, again, moving on to the next drive, I think I got to play a little bit more conservatively on defense. Like I said, I was kind of bagging this guy, so there's no reason to, you know, go overboard and blitz and risk exposing yourself when you're playing good defense. And that's something I got to get through my head. I was playing good defense. I right, back on the offensive side of the ball. I'm thinking he's going to be running man again. So we got a couple man-beating routes on the field. And they didn't actually end up beating man. All right, let's find an open guy. All right, I think R1 might... Nope. Yo, Culpepper's got got feet. I forgot. I forgot Culpepper can run. I should have taken off a long time ago. Uh, but <laughs> we got great pass protection there. I should have taken off a long, long time ago, though. All right, so it looks like he's going to be sitting in this cover two man look. And so we are going to be trying to expose him. Trying our best to expose him here. We got a lot of man beating routes on the field. And when you got that many man beating routes on the field, he's only got one user. So once again, trying to expose the man coverage. This actually might be a cover three. I'm taking off with uh, Culpepper again. Cole Pepper again, he's got some wheels. Not the f Oh, shit! I tried to slide, but we got warped into a, a tackle. Gonna say, Cole Pepper's not the fastest guy on the field, but he is fast enough to run with. So he is gonna have to put out a spy if he wants to contain the Pep. The thick boy Dante, Cole Pepper, you know? Just put a spy out. And once he starts putting a spy out, that's one less man in coverage I gotta worry about. Ah, good blitz by him. That was a really good blitz by him. Missed my quick read, and the pressure came in. So this guy's actually not terrible. Not too bad, but I, I, I'm going to have to start playing a little bit smarter. I'm going to be running the ball once again here to get some of this yardage back. Do a good job of it and actually get to the 40. So we're almost in field goal range. Need about three more yards, and I am going to be running a quick little play. If I can take my three, you know what? If he's going to give me the same look, I'm going to run the ball again. No! Okay, we got. I think we're in field goal range. I think we're in field goal range here from the 38. We should be. It's telling me to punt. Tell me to punt. What? I'm like 95% sure I can kick it from here. It's telling me to punt, though. So we're going to try to... Try to kick this. We got full power accurate kick. This should go through. I swear you could kick from the 38. All right, there we go. There we go. We hit the camera. Hit the little camera. That's three points, so we should be good to go. All right, so once again, it looks like he's probably in man coverage. That's the look I'm getting. We can get some good blocking here. We did. You better be able to outrun him. All right, McLaurin. He got bumped. He had like five yards of separation. That was a man beater. That was a Z post. And you know what? He should. That should have been a touchdown. He got bumped. That's P.I. All right, we're at the 15-yard line. I want to be smart. I've been playing pretty well. And that's another good read by me. I think we're yeah we're six for six, 172 yards and a touchdown. We're at the we're at the four yard line now, so I am probably gonna run the ball. 
Uh, usually inside the five, I really don't like to pass very much unless I absolutely have to. Uh, but if I'm inside the five, I'd say most of the time it's almost always going to be a run. So we're coming out in this uh, ace slot. And I have Omaha activated now. Holy shit, I didn't realize that. I have Omaha activated now. So I could see his uh, his uh, his play art there. I'm actually going to hurry up and I'm going to see if maybe I should pass if I have Omaha. So he's got hard flats. I don't know if I like this. I'm just going to run inside zone. Even though I have Omaha, I still don't like passing from here. Oh, he shot the gap. You're kidding me. How did he shoot that gap? All right. At the five here, here's a little gadget play I like. It's an RPO. Really freaking good. Set of trips tied in. I think this this is not in the Raiders playbook, so you can't run this if you run Raiders. But I still got Omaha, and we're going to see if we can get this to work. It didn't work. Ah, oh, I really freaking wish. Okay, I, I'm tempted to go for this. No, I'm just going to kick my three. Again, I think I think because my defense is good, I don't want to give it. I don't want to give up anything stupid. So I'm gonna take my three, take a lead, because three points is a full possession. So don't don't ever undermine the value of a three point drive. All right. So honestly, the blitzing has not been working well at all. So we are kind of changing the tune of what we're gonna be doing here. He's continually running this stretch, even though it's not working too well. Uh, but we're gonna stop blitzing so much. We're gonna play more coverage because I think the coverage that I was running was working a, a lot better than the blitzes have been. So. Uh, that's what we're going to do here. And here we go. That should be pretty good defense right there. Palomalu right here. Things are looking pretty good. Double flat on the right. We got a 20 yard on the left and a cover three shell. QB spy. There we go. Really good defense. See what happens when I play coverage? It works. He didn't show me he could beat that. So we're going to give him the same look. Same exact look here. Good read by him. Good read by him. We stopped him. It's going to be fourth down. And here's where I might blitz. I might go aggressive on fourth down. Here's where I might blitz. I think I'm going to do it. And the blitz did not come in. Dude, I... If I got to my user, I would have obviously covered that. But I got caught on the D-line. That's frustrating. This guy, even though the game feels one-sided, he's been just scraping by, it feels like. There we go. Good, good run, D. That's what I'm talking about when I say shoot the gap. Uh, that, that middle gap in Big Nickel over G is just really soft for users to come through. I don't know why. And I know I said I was going to play coverage, but it's it's second and 14 and I'm blitzing. And somehow he freaking knew it. He freaking knew I was blitzing. He went with a cover three beater. I uh, went with a cover three beater. Thankfully, because we blitzed, he didn't have the time for it. And that brings up a, a third and long. And I'm not going to blitz this time. I'm not blitzing this time. Oh, I got caught on Aaron Donald. QB spy with Donald. Ronnie Lott's got activated everything. He tried to cover three beater again. Don't test Ronnie Lott, man. Don't test Ronnie Lott. He's got act, especially when he's activated. Uh, that's why I put him in the middle. He, he's probably my best safety. So I don't really need to worry about cover three beaters because he's so good over the middle. He's probably going to stop most of them. This is man coverage, 100%. I can see his, uh, see his play art here. And I knew the crosser was going to destroy man. Waller, get up there, baby. A little fast. Oh! Oh, baby. If we got in the end zone, that would be GG's. That would have been GG's. But we're at the six. We're going to play it slow. Don't, don't do anything stupid. Look at the defense. I don't even know what to think. This might be man coverage again. I think it is. So he's got a hard flat, a deep flat over there. Come on, buddy. You got to get those feet in. You got to get those freaking feet in. Oh, my God. All right. So if it is man coverage, then Mostert is going to be wide open. It is man coverage. No. What the hell? Truck of Mostert. All right. At the one, I'm going for this. We got two minutes to go. I'm already up three. And I need one yard. I'm going to let the two-minute warning hit. Because even if we don't get it, he's at the one-yard line. So... Either way, we're kind of in a win situation. I'm going to let the two-minute warning hit. All right, fourth and goal from the one. This is for the game. If I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. But if I do get it, obviously, we're in a better situation than we were. And looks like that was easy. So going for it paid off. We're now up two possessions. Two-minute warning has hit. This game is as good as over as long as I don't give up a quick touchdown. If I make him take his time, he hasn't really been able to drive at all. So I'm just going to be playing coverage, playing off defense, and hopefully uh, this game is over. And looks like that's GG's, man. 
All right, Pierre has conceded the game. Game one in the books. Felt like we played pretty well. Big Nickel Over G for me was working a lot better when I was playing coverage versus when I was blitzing. Now, when I see the pros run it, a lot of them blitz their ass off. So, that is something that I need to focus on is why are my blitzes not working? Maybe the adjustments behind them aren't doing as well. Uh, but going to the next game, that's where my head's going to be at. Dio, get him, is my next opponent. Those are my top three. And he's got Joe Montana, DRC, and Terry McLaurin. So he's got a pretty good team. Uh, expecting this to kind of be a good game. I might recognize this guy's name. It's always hard. It's always hard because I feel like I recognize people's names, but I'm not sure where it's from. All right, so this guy's coming out in U-Trips, and U-Trips is a very, very good formation. So I am expecting this guy to kind of be hell. Because honestly, anybody in... Oh, he's got the cover three beater to start. He's got the cover three beater to start. And Ronnie Lott! I was just talking about how good... Oh, he's celebrating too. I was just talking about how good Ronnie Lott is. And first freaking play, cover three beater. Cross his face. Ronnie Lott, we got to we gotta take a look at that one, man. Well, obviously not a good way to start, but there's still a lot of game to play. Um, look at it. He's got acrobats all over the field. Uh, so his abilities are pretty solid. Oh my gosh. And how did he... How did his D-tackle shug off... Okay, and he's running man coverage. Okay. So he's running some man coverage... Uh, this guy is definitely running some meta stuff. I mean, coverage. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. Little Y sale. Little a little Y sale. Little Y sale. That backside in is money. One of my favorite plays in the game for sure. I got a really nice man beater out of this formation. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the ball, see if he kind of stays in that man coverage. And if he does, we're gonna go right back to the man beater next time. So we're gonna go to the man beater this time. All right. So he's been in man coverage the whole time. This is a man beater to Terry McLaurin. Uh, hopefully he gets past his man. His man didn't motion over, so that actually makes me think, I don't know if it's man, and yes, it is. Terry has him toasted. Goodbye, brother. That is a touchdown, and we fight right back. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. That's what I'm talking about when I say set up your plays. You know, play smart, play slow. He wanted to sit in man the whole time, and so I just set up the man beating route, and it worked perfectly. All right, so once again, I am kind of expecting this guy to be running a uh, the same play because it works so well. And he did run the same play, but he had to roll out to the other side. Got right behind my flat. Little bit of a bummer because I was running like a hard flat look, basically. Uh, but All right, we're going to switch up how we're doing this. We're going to put a lot more to the middle of the field. Oh, I got caught on Donald. Mine, mine. Thank you. Thank you. Throw out a sack. Sent the spy at him. Get to the outside, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Taylor freaking Maze. We sent the spy, hit him as he threw it, got the throw out of sack, interception. So first drive, we gave him a quick touchdown. Second drive, we did a lot better. And third drive. Third drive, we're going to play some good defense. Oh, we're, sending, we're sending heat off the edge. Oh, we had a hard flat. What the hell? That was a quick read by him. We had a flat out there that I expected to play that. Sorry, guys. This guy's been running hurry-up offense, and it's hard for me when he's running at that pace to kind of uh, play well. So we're only rushing two here, and our, our zone is, like, obviously over the middle here. Running that cover three beater again! Bro, that's just a post! It's just a post from the outside! Holy fuck! That's been getting open every single time. Just a post from the outside. There's not even anything... There's nothing dragging down my third. I've never seen a cover three beater work that phenomenally. Holy hell. So that tells me basically because I need to deep flat that side every time. And that wasn't something I was really planning on doing. Nothing is open. Damn it, dude. But uh, he's beat me on that cover three beater twice now. So obviously that's something I need to keep in mind. All right, third and long here. This is a pretty big third down. I am going to be passing the ball. And I'm going to be making this route combo that you guys have probably seen me run a million times. This is pretty much what it looks like. We get a crosser on the left. And then a slant flat on the right. And the slant was open. He got a little caught up on the crosser, which enabled our slant underneath to get open. But he, he's been running man coverage almost every time. And uh, those routes, there's a lot of routes on the field that beat man there. So uh, that's that's one of my go-to man beaters here. We're going to run this same man beater we were running last time with that S post from the outside receiver. And then once again, I'm expecting, I'm expecting man coverage here 100%. Yep, man coverage. 
And the S-Post beats his man once again. Terry, you just, you gotta catch it in stride. Why are you slowing down to catch that ball? Should be a touchdown. Now we're at the five. Incredibly frustrating. When he has five yards on his guy, I expect him to continue running with the ball. I don't know why he slowed down there. But it's tough to get in from the five. It's tough to score here. He's running man coverage here. Guaranteed with a hard flat. I'm going to try to throw this RPO. And it didn't fucking work. This is why I get fucking mad. Because I don't know why he slowed down when he caught the ball so much. But here we are. I'm incredibly frustrated. Incredibly frustrated. But with the three down lineman set, I am going to be running this trap once again. And uh, if I take three, I take three. It is what it is. Hopefully we don't have to do that. And we don't. Thank you for good blocking. Zeke, get out of here. My dog. Zeke. Go. Go. He's going to, he's going to, I know he's, he bites cables. That's what he does. He loves to bite cables. So he's looking for sh some shit to chew up. And I don't want him to disconnect my internet. All right, here, this is a look I like. Everything's double flatted. Everything's double flatted. He's going for the cover three meter again. I forgot to fucking deep half that side. Oh my God. He has one play that's working. One play that's working. And I keep forgetting. I'm going to flip a bitch. A bitch will be flipped. A bitch shall be flipped. I shall flip a bitch. And I deep halved it. I deep halved it that time. So if that beats me again, then I don't even know what to say. I'm deep halfing that side every fucking time. Moving Ronnie Lott to the middle of the field. Dude, he's quick hiking me, so I'm not getting my adjustment. It's like he's got one play. He just got one play, and he's just quick hiking it, so I can't set up the defense for it. All right, there we go. We got everything set up the way I want it. Screw this guy, bro. I'm angry. Throw it, buddy. Throw it, buddy. Dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna explode. Come on. Big nickel over G. Sometimes you can't make your adjustments right. I don't know why. There we go. No! I shot the gap and I hit him in the backfield. How is Reggie Bush? Okay. See, this is why I lose games in Weekend League, because I start getting so mad. I'm telling you now, this is part of the tip. This is part of my tip that I'm giving to you, is to chill the fuck out. Because I need to stop getting so mad. Because I'm going to lose. I don't know why I'm right here. I think it might work. Okay, so he gets into the end zone for a touchdown. We got a minute left to go down and get some points. But, dude, that whole drive was absolute bullshit. I'm so angry at this guy. Thankfully, it's the first half. And usually when people are playing like this, their luck is going to run out in the second half. If he's only got one play, like, I've got to figure out how to stop it. He just keeps quick hiking me. So if I can if I can get my adjustments down for the second half, he's not scoring another point. All right, once again, we got a million man beaters on the field. And I know he wants to run man coverage. I know he wants to run man coverage. And unfortunately, we didn't get out of bounds. That was very bad by me. All I had to do was get out of bounds there. All right, I got 30 seconds. I want at least three. I want at least three here. So hopefully we can get it. Looks like man coverage to me. Looks like man coverage to me. Dude. Dude, he almost blocked my fucking punt. The DDA is strong with this one, boys. The DDA is strong with this one. He almost blocked my fucking punt. He wasn't even running punt block. All right, bro. This guy's pissing me off. Real, really pissing me off here. And, uh, yeah, he tried to throw it. I, I deep half that time. I deep half that time. So see what happens when I get my adjustments right. It doesn't work. Coming on the second half, we are starting with the ball. And uh, this guy's been audibling from nickel 335 to nickel 335 wide, which is good run defense. So I don't really want to focus on running the ball too much. Should be a dot. I tried to air truck. Air trucking got nerfed. I don't know why I tried to air truck. That wasn't going to work. So once again, we have a man beating around on the field. It's the S post with McLaurin. If we can get him over in times four, three, two, one, hike. Yes. Go, baby. Get under that bitch. McLaurin to the promised land. And if you sit in man coverage all game, that's what's going to happen. You got to mix in zones. You got to have some deep zones because there are routes that are going to toast your man almost every time. All right, rushing two again. Oh, no. I fucked up my adjustments. I really fucked up my adjustments. Dude, I had 45 fucking hard flats. If I can just get my adjustments down, I know exactly how to stop everything he wants to do. 
There we go. There we go. We did it. He's bagged. I'm sorry. This guy's this guy's about to get the tits bagged out of him. Dude. Dude, what? Damn it, I put too many fucking Mine, Ronnie Lott finally made a fucking play this game. First game, Ronnie Lott was un unstoppable. This game, he's been getting bullied. Thank you for finally coming up, big Ronnie. Here, I'm going to run the ball here, actually, because he's not giving me anybody to the left. And I think we can take this out to the left. Yes, we can. Double juke. Double juke. <laughs> double juke just making make, make the def defenders go a little bit dumb. They go a little bit dumb when you double juke. With that, we're in field goal range. Now, there's no need to force anything. And I am probably just going to run the ball uh, and take my three here. Uh, Reggie Bush is very tired, so I'm going to put in Mostert. It's hashtag Mostert season. And, uh, yeah, we are going to continue to run the ball here. No shot in hell. We pass. This guy has gotten too lucky. Too much DDA. Mostert, yeah, there we go. He shugged off a hit stick in the backfield. Let's do the same. We're actually going to pass the ball here. I'm going to see if McLaurin's double teamed. I have a feeling he's not going to be. And he was not. And that is how double me works. If you don't use double me, that's how it works. It's beautiful. And that's going to cause the rage quit. GG's in my opponent. 250 yards passing. Three touchdowns for Dante Culpepper. And uh, Pierce conceded the game. Another victory in Weekend League. If you guys enjoyed another episode of Madden Academy, leave a like down below. There will be more to come. We will have the first episode of Weekend League recap, recap out tomorrow. If you guys are ready for that, hit the sub button. Hit the noti bell. Get ready, man. But I'll be seeing you guys very soon. <laughs>